We're here by the famous TR6, starred in my gunning it video and um, night drive with the famous actor who starred in it, Danny. <laughs> How are we doing, mate? Yeah, very well. All right, well, so, <laughs> <laughs> well, we started up the car. It's got oil pressure. We've got the pump here, or a new one, which we've yet to fit, but seeing as it's got oil pressure, there's not really much point in changing it, but as we've got it, we're gonna do it as peace of mind. Um, according to Danny, the car suffered with the oil pressure just went so the first thing we're going to do is just check out the rocker shaft so yeah it's only three bolts under here and what suffers on them is well i've got one out here is you got a little screw now this one's in bits so you'll have to sort of imagine it but we'll show you anyway a little screw here where the oil feed comes up goes along the rockers and like feeds all the rockers individually with oil and these come loose so for the sake of undoing three bolts on the rocker box to have a look at that it's worth doing so we're going to do that first before we change the rocker um, before we change the oil pump so let's see how we get on yeah well you know we've got the uh, the rocker box off so let's see three easy bolts going off and uh, on the rocker shaft you see in Dan's one we've upgraded it to uh, the Moss rock shaft style which is a bush rock shaft it's, uh, one over here. We did this a while back on Triumphs they never actually had bushes in between the um, rockers it was just running straight metal to metal so what we've done we've upgraded it to a moss rocker shaft um, highly recommended and um, the other thing we did originally there were sprung spaces in between the rockers that's just an old rock shaft I've got knock knocking about off a TR6 and we changed these to a solid type now some people may say that's not a great idea, other people may say they're God's gift to mankind. We thought they were pretty good, so we fitted them. By all means, you know, drop a comment, see what you think in the box below. But uh, we haven't had too much problems with them. The bolt I was on about that was loose, as you can clearly see, it's bottom of my finger there. Um, and what happens is your oil comes up here, and then it sprays all the way along the shaft, and comes out these little holes here. And this lubricates all of the rockers on the rocker shafts individually. And this uh, screw, as you can see by my hand, is pretty tight. So it definitely ain't that that's causing the, uh, the oil pressure problem. So the odds are it's probably a worn out pump. Well, hey guys, well, we're underneath. <laughs> Sound a little bit Australian because we're under. <laughs> we're down under. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got to undo this little bolt here. Get the oil out and uh, run around the ring of sump bolts. Get sump off. And then there's going to be three bolts, which uh, we'll show you. Well, I'll show you because he won't get underneath because he's too scared. And um, we'll get the oil pump down and have a quick look at it. assistant here is giving us something good clean which is a very good idea why I say because all the swore from 1970 which is when I imagine this car was last taken bits it wasn't really I'm just joking um, it's probably at the bottom of the sump so it's always a good idea to give it a good clean out with a, a nice bit of brake cleaner and then a loyally old rag and a nice servant here who does it for you <laughs> well anyway what we're going to do now is uh, obviously we've got some cleaned up by a glamorous assistant we're going to the oil, it's always a good idea to change the oil filter. Well, this is a new oil filter. We've gone for a spin on oil filter adaption on this car, so it's not the original. So, anyway, we're going to take the old one off and replace it with a new one. Always prime them up before you um, insert them in, and uh, yeah, we do that. But 
just before we do do that, I'm going to dive underneath and we're going to just check the uh, the big end bearings ain't got too much play in them. Hopefully they won't. And um, might as well have a quick look at the crankshaft to make sure there's not too much play in that. So yeah, we'll crack on. Right. Okay. Well, what we're going to do now is just quickly do a rough check on the crankshaft frost washer, which. I'm going to show you underneath the engine, but the way you check that is basically we really should have a DTI gauge and you're measuring the end float on the crankshaft. So the way I'd do it is with a bar like this and just pushing backwards and forwards on here. And I'd be using the DTI gauge which would be on the end here with a magnet onto the end here and you'd be looking at how far that gauge moves and that would give you your end float and theoretically this should be intolerance and this one has got a little bit of play in it we're not going to be doing this one anyway because it didn't come in for this coming for oil pressure right so underneath the engine and um, this here is the oil pump this is what we're replacing because we suspect that it's worn out it's how old your car it's 40, 47 now well, 47 years old and it's probably never had a new oil pump since it was built so 47 years old on on its first oil pump and pretty damn well i mean what's the mileage 90,000. uh we're now on 100 100,000. so yeah a lot of miles behind it while we're underneath here we might as well check the big end bearings so that would just be literally wiggling them backwards and forwards this is only a rough check we're not measuring or stuff like that across all six up and down backwards and forwards across all six of them and it's just just a question of feel really you're just checking that there's not too much slot you might give them a little check backwards and forwards you always want a little bit of free play because otherwise the thing won't turn so yeah that feels good going back to the um crankshaft frost washers if you were to do them it's the two bolts under here on the uh, on the main crankshaft bearing you'd undo those two bolts there take it down take them out they're just like half moon shape and then you'd whack in your two new ones generally they'd be oversized if you've got a bit of wear and then you torque these bolts back up but as i said we're not doing that we're just in the oil pump Right, so there we are. We've got the uh, new old alley oil pump. Be a little bit lighter. It's from TRGB, and that's the pump that came off it. It's got a different oil strainer on it. It's still got a filter, which is up there. And that's how the oil filter works. You see, it sort of compresses the oil and draws it up into the engine and up through there into the engine that's driven by the uh, by the camshaft and on the other end of that the uh, distributor is driven mm. so this is uh, let's say a brand new one that we're going to put in and say different oil strainer more like a, a what did you call it microphone well, more like a microphone <laughs> sort of top i think it's a little bit better personally it's aluminium so it's a bit lighter so you'll be able to do a few more miles to the gallon not <laughs> but there you go. First things first, locate the pump. Now we know that's now located. It's nicely in the shaft. You see, you just turn it round and round on its spline. And there you know it's located right. There's no gaskets on these, they're just a straight fit from the old body up to the engine. And say just turn it you see that's it's not in it's not in it's in you get three bolts on the strainer my bad better off doing this a little at a time swing it around just 
locate it and screw it in. Clean this all up with the mating surfaces. So it's now all, you know, sanded them back, it's all clean, ready to be the new gasket to go on. And I've cleaned up the surfaces underneath the car where it meets on the uh, engine block. It's a new gasket. But as always, I don't trust these gaskets, and many other people say the same, so just a bit of well seal on it all the way around the edges, and um, we'll get it up, bolt it in, and then hopefully fill it up with oil and um, get it going. Good. Good. Right. right. it up with oil, put the um, oil pump in, we check the rocker shaft as we said, and uh, now's the job to uh, start it up and see whether it works. So Darren, if you want to pull out the choke, fire her up. What's the oil pressure like? Quite a success there. Um, we've got good um, oil pressure on the gauge. You seem quite happy about it, don't you, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I'll show you. Give me a few running shots. Good. Till next time.